Hi, my name is Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT consultant and you're watching a video on how to change a wireless channel on a router. What you'll need for this is your computer and access to your internet connection. Wireless access points are effectively communicating like radio devices. As we have more and more of these devices in our neighbourhoods, you'll find more and more conflicts between them, which is why the manufacturers of wireless access points tend to use channels. Now, channels can be configured by you and changed by you. These are channels that, the, that they'll communicate with in your neighbourhood. If you're having problems with your wireless access point and having problems connecting, it may be that you need to change the channel that it's communicating on. The first step in changing your channel is to log in to your router's page or login page, which typically on most routers can be found at 192.168.1.1. On the computer we're showing you today, however, the IP address for that router is actually 10.0.0.2. You'll see as soon as we go to that IP address, we're asked for your username and password. This often is the default because people tend not to change this. So look in your manufacturer's default settings for what that username and password is. If you've changed it, you should have a record of what it is. Simply enter the username and password and you'll be given access to the control panel of your wireless network. Now you need to access the wireless part of the configuration for your wireless network. In here you should see a setting that says channel. It's normally a drop down menu. You just click the drop down menu and change it from whatever the channel is at the moment to another one. Typically the ones people use most often are 3, 6, 9 and 10. Once you've chosen your new network channel, simply save the changes Make sure that those updates are flashed to the firmware, otherwise they'll be lost the next time you lose power. And once it's saved to the firmware, turn the router off, leave it off for about three or four seconds, and power it back on. My name is Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video on how to change a wireless channel.